played a sexy girlfriend to uh, Ashton Kutcher's character. Yeah. All it was was sex related for the I'm surprised she doesn't want to the show the For the NATO Tag Team. Contest but I also got four one four. Yeah, they said it's not. Introducing the first one, San Diego, California, weighing one hundred and sixty-five pounds. Ray Mysterio. Thank you very much, Tony Chimel. That was loud and clear. The audience is giving you all your full undivided attention. Ray Mysterio Jr., ladies and gentlemen, with Lucha Estrella, known as Team Mexico. To start things off here on our tag team, King of the Ring. They like showing uh, Jason Seagal naked, though. Yes, they do, don't they? In the beginning and near the end. The you see his balls, man. You see everything. You see his little fat penis. pounds, the super and, and that's how all of our penises are. It's funny, wrecked, you know what I'm saying? That's why the best penis is an erected penis. And for all you children out there, it's too late. I've already said the word. Uh, this was part of his idea, right? He wrote the script. <laughs> That's the joke. It's like, okay, in this scene, we're going to have me showing. There have been other movies where there's From been the size of penis, like Walk Hard. Walk Hard, there was penis in there. It's funny though. They'll say nudity, but they'll start saying graphic nudity if it involves purple. Like penis. Yeah. Like our, our genitals are awful. It's not, it's, it's not graphic. Common. It's not common in film, that's the thing, dog. <laughs> it's too graphic, it's all mean. No ball of bad, no ball of bad. And honestly, Jason Siegel is not a sexually attractive man. No, I mean... He's fucking tall. He's, yeah, he's tall, but he's a big guy. Kids like these days. Uh, Morgan Freeman's kid. Uh, <laughs> Suppressed memories. Well, ladies and gentlemen, strolling on his. And that's not a Harley. It's a futuristic motorbike from Final Fantasy 1, uh, 7. Get that straight. Final Fantasy 7, Cloud Strife. And Kurt Angle are no stranger to the Tag Team Tornado Championship title belts. Sorry, you were saying something a moment ago. I cut you off. Nobody wants to see a Talk to Vince McMahon about that. He was, he's behind all of that. Or Jim Johnson. Talk to him. All of his songs sound the same. What? Did you get Danny L? <laughs> I never ever did like Jim Johnson's music, man. I mean, there were some songs that were okay, but then I'm thinking they all they all sound the same. If I were to if I were to show you some WCW theme songs, you would say the same thing. They all sound the same, but they actually sound better than WWE music. I'll send you one. Oh, and Jonah Hill is the Yeah, he's the, uh, he's, uh, he's the obsessed, uh, guy who works at the, the hotel. Obsessed about Russell Brand's character. Dude, he's a fucking, uh, he's a waiter. He's a servant. And an obsessed yeah, but, fan. Yeah. <laughs> who sells drugs on the side. Like, I'm on duty right now, but after my show, I can get you, you know? But that's, you know what, that, 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 scene is, that scene is funny and true because it's true. I mean, I remember one time working at, a, at the Bamboo and I got called up and I said, do you have me on you? And I was like, 
Oh, it worked right now, dude. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> Fuck, c'est drôle, man. Ça me fait rire, man, tout le temps. Wow! Double underhook suplex by Cloud Strife. He is angry and full of rage. Wanting to get to the next round of our tag team King of the Ring. Lots of tag teams. Thank you very much, by the way, Captain. You're welcome. Lots of superstars who are not part of the King of the Ring this year. I know that they must be very angry, and because of that, the championship committee alongside representatives, i.e. me and Captain Obvious, we all put our heads together, and we cooked up a tag team King of the Ring, and the winning team... The winning team meets Lethal Enforcers for the Tornado Tag Team titles at Beach Blast in July, the hottest month of the year. Hoorah! That's gonna be sick, man. It would be barbaric and fat and ill. <laughs> barbaric, fat, and ill. Well, the first movie that comes up is the dance ceremony when I just dance around for the end. Not much movies with the name Forget in there. <laughs> That's a good movie. I liked it. Oh, I have to see the rest of it. You saw the movie? I only saw part of it. Oh, dude. What, you, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Four. I fell asleep. Bill, H Bill H was in that? I don't remember him. Yeah, there's the guy who had a webcam. Him and his wife. Oh, with the blowjob thing? Yeah. Oh, that mm -hmm. makes me laugh. Fuck, that makes me laugh. And that guy's in there. I've seen him in a few movies. Playing some <laughs> Christian married couple. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Who's trying to, like, get it on with his wife, and he has Russell Brand's character teaching him sex. And he still sounds like he's being tortured. It just sounds weird. The sex scenes are bizarre. Sounding. Hey man, that funny. spruced up that couple's marriage, dude. Oh look, yeah it did. It spruced insane. up, man. I mean, you got game, you know? You got game, this guy sounds weird. Yeah. Look, like, English, Hawaiian, only a few words. Oh, because of the black guy, though, the black bartender who named all kinds of fish? Yeah. That's, that's supposed to be Hawaiian. Yeah, he's funny. Do you like Russell Brand's music videos? <laughs> I know. I didn't even know it was Paul Rudd. Like, I'm like this guy looks like Dan Cook. This is Dan Cook and Roman Tusser. Looks kind of like Paul. Like, check it. Yeah, a little bit like. The, like sur the surfer it. guy who forgets people's names. He's yeah. being shocked because Paul Rudd. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, small, small little role, but it's still funny. I don't know why I don't have and that. Apparently, movie. Russell uh, getting in the Greek or whatever it's called is yeah. supposed to be a spin off of this Aldous character. Aldous Snow. Aldous Snow yeah. is. Uh, and it's funny, it has Jonah Hill again, but Jonah Hill's character. It's, it's not even. I know. Why well, couldn't. It. See, I would like to see that. I would like to see Jonah Hill's character. Well, because he's from Forgetting Sarah Marshall to be in. Uh, get, get, get into the Greek. Because it would be kind of hard. I mean, he goes from Hawaii all the way down there. Is. And so he doesn't care, mind that he's working with them, and it feels like he didn't hate himself. They would have revamped the whole intro just for they that. Have, they had to, they had to give him a new character. I guess so. Chris oh well, Bell. I mean, she was hot, of course, but I hated her character because she was a bitch. And out of, out of, Kristen Bell and Mila Kunis, hands down Mila all the way. I would eat her vag, I would eat the butt, I would eat everything. Yeah, she makes it down. Astro Boy! Holy sh! Holy sh! I hope you like the viewing material, Scott Towels! I know I have. I'm here live. Oh, yes. Though this will be probably online in a couple of weeks. No one wants them to notice. <laughs> uh, what do you people do on 
YouTube, honestly, if I can be frank with the world right now, what in God's name are you guys watching?